many of the manufacturers are really taking a serious look at security and how security should play in the automotive space. Really what we need to take a look at is what is the focus of the software? How do we make that much more robust before we ever get into production? Now we have to look at how do we put overlaying security features or that security onion that we're typically used to seeing. Consumers are, are feared about the cars being connected. So I think we, we need to secure the car, we need to secure the, the connectivity between car and cloud, the networks. As soon as you connect something to the internet, there's a vulnerability there. So how you do that connectivity, uh, how you route traffic to the cars has to be very secure. If you just look at your inbox from Microsoft, it's full of you need to upgrade your you know, Microsoft Word or whatever because of security issues. So I think they're all going to have to have security update capability, just mandatory. And then that comes with all of the other benefits of improving the software. Uh, there are ways, there are uh, mechanical ways, uh, software ways to uh, prevent from hacking the car. You can have, uh, for instance, dedicated microcontroller. Uh, separate the multimedia from the, 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 the vehicle bus. Uh, physically, this is uh, one of the ways. There are many ways with uh, cryptography, with uh, IP filtering. And so I think there's always in any arena, uh, in any industry, there's always going to be criminals who try to take advantage of a given system. So I think what the industry needs to do is try to have that risk to be as low as possible. Um, and that goes in terms of being at the forefront of IT security mechanisms to really um, build systems which are very difficult and uh, are a huge amount of effort uh, for people to hack into.